Hey fellow QuickBooks users, this is Debbie Kilsheimer. I live in Port Orange, Florida. I'm an advanced certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor. And here's my trick on how to reprint a payroll check. First off, why would you even want to bother reprinting a payroll check? Well, first, you want your employee to be paid, but secondly, you need to make sure the dating is proper. So here it is, October, and I have an employee, Elizabeth, come to me and says that she washed her paycheck in her jeans from the paycheck dated 917. Now, being that it's October 16th, I've already paid my payroll tax liabilities for September, and based on the fact that I paid her in September, the fact she didn't cash the check, and now I have to reissue another one. If I dated the check for today, guess what? I have my payroll taxes are going to be wrong for September, including the 941 and the UTC 6 for the state of Florida that I've already submitted. So it really is good to reprint the paycheck on the original date that was issued. So here's how to do it. Let's find that paycheck it was 917. It was check number 402. And all I'm going to do is check the to be printed box, which will make the 402 disappear. Now I'm going to reprint it again. And the next check number in my sequence is check number 501. So I'm going to click print. OK. I'm going to print it out. I'm not changing the date. It's still at all I'm changing is the check number. I click OK and it changes to 501. Save and close. Everything's good. Hand her her paycheck. She's on her merry way. But there's one last thing that I want to do because being the anal accountant that I am, I like to keep track of all my voided checks. And here 402 is now not in the system anymore. So if I ever want to see, you know, five years from now, what happened to that check number 402? I can go to banking, write checks. It was written to Elizabeth. It was check number 402. It was 40 amount, but why did I write it? I wrote it, replaced check with check number 501 due to washing machine incident. And I'm going to throw it into the famous office supplies. Not that it's going to affect that account at all. I could really put it anywhere. But you know how we use office supplies to put in anything. We don't know where it goes. But since it's zero, it really doesn't matter. But the debits equal the credits, even with zero. I'm going to make this a class of my expenses for my accounting practice. Click Save and Close. Check is there. Done. And that's my tip and trick on what to do when you have to reprint a payroll check and that affects all your uh, prior period reporting, your tax reporting, and everything like that. So what's the moral of this story? Tell your people not to wash their pants or, you know, just learn to click the box. Anyway, my name is Debbie Kilsheimer from Port Orange, Florida. This was fun. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.